Jeff Motes from the city of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. I'm actually from Fort Wayne, Indiana. I moved to Tuscaloosa back in 93. I've been working with the city since 2000. I just taught myself GIS. I got a degree in archaeology, which has nothing to do with GIS. But at any rate, here I am. Uh, this is my third Eurista conference that I've been to. Love it, and I'm really happy to be here. It is the longest 15 seconds of my life. We did have a tornado back in April of this year. Uh, the city itself of Tuscaloosa, we played some football there. You guys may have heard that. Roll Tide. It's the s county seat. Tuscaloosa County is the second largest county in the state. And um, the GIS that I put together is just kind of ad hoc over the years. I'm the only GIS manager there, kind of a, a department of one within the IT department. Um, and, and, you know, it's kind of your generic vanilla GIS. You know, I, I map stuff as it goes along. I try to get people on board to get the vision, but it's, it's very old school. It's hard to get the commitment. We got a new mayor, and um, he instituted this incident command system. Just in the event of a planned or an emergency event, it offers a uniform way to address any um, any emergency, planned or unplanned. We went to Maryland, Emmitsburg, Maryland, to the Incident Command Institute, uh, Emergency Management Institute. About 60 of us went up there. We went through a mock drill to see what would we do in the event of a real emergency. And I took on the position of a, a planning section chief. It's one of the bubbles in this um, group. We put it to work uh, with game days, um, concerts at the city, tri uh, triathlons, Blue Angel air shows, instituted the same system of how, who's responsible for what and how do we deal with this. We had a blizzard in 2000. We spent, my right hand to God, we spent all night at City Hall. We spent the night at City Hall anticipating and this event never happened. Sugarland, anybody from Indianapolis knows this group. They were about to put on a concert there. We were watching this, the weather all day long and it just got bad. We just didn't like it. We called off the concert and a tornado rolled through the city. This is my first chance to actually thematically map damage from a tornado. Got the mayor on board. The first, first thing when I got to City Hall on the 27th, the power was out, so I made a zoo. This is a deer. That's a... Uh, like a longhorn steer. Then the tornado hit. This, is, this part isn't funny. We lost the EMA, Station 4, East Police Inc., Environmental Services Department, the Salvation Army, and the Red Cross. Boom, just like that. Um, this is where EMA used to be at the bottom of this building. It was an old uh, automotive facility. We bought it for like a dollar. We used it for a city warehouse and we had everything in it. These were all our garbage trucks. They'd be like really useful after a tornado to help. We lost like 70% of our fleet. This is a, just a quick blush of the storm. This is down here where it made landfall. And you see it goes through the heart of really the commercial district. It, I show it ending there, but it really never checked up until like 60 miles later. It was an F4, um, several billion dollars worth of damage. This is our home for about a month, this conference room. This is the Incident Command Center. This is where all the decisions were made. The mayor was here, we broke it up into groups, and everybody had their responsibilities. GIS played a huge role in this. When up to this time, um, I got a little help from my friends. Uh, up to this time, I'd made good contact with ESRI, Keith Cook, if you know him, he was a godsend. He showed up, as well as Karen Tureen with GeoCove, and these people had the expertise of how do you mitigate a disaster, how do you get, a, get your brain around how much damage is lost. So the next little bit here is some of my advice. Please take it, because you won't live long enough to make all the mistakes yourself. We'll try to learn from mine. Um, we, we learned a lot in a hurry, and a lot of stuff I'd heard before, but kind of foolishly never really paid attention. The software, we participated in the ELA. This is not a pitch for ESRI. I'm just saying this saved a ton of effort on our part. If you're not familiar with it, it's a three-tiered program, uh, pricing for an all-you-can-eat uh, software uh, based on your <laughs> so, uh, population. When you set up your command system, don't count on Wi-Fi. Uh, as much as possible, set up your laptops and tablets and whatever beforehand. Public safety, police and fire, they're always doing drills. They're always putting something together. Get in on that. Um, if somebody offers to lend a hand, I'm a real do-it-yourself guy. I don't ask for help. If somebody offers, take your help. Take as much help as you can because you certainly cannot do it all yourself. That's me over on the right with my hands up in the air. This is, this is the fatalities from the storm. We lost 52 people in there. When the data, this is kind of uh, data is produced, don't let anybody that comes in and asks for it 
out. The incident command system has a designated public information officer. All the information goes through that person. Leadership, by far the most important, the most essential part of this event. This is our mayor, Walt Maddox. He led with a vision for how we're going to deal with this. He said, I, I will reward you for creativity, and I'm glad that we did.